Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this uh, video, we're going to take a look at how to set up your workspace. Now, if you're anything like me, when you got your brand new shiny CF 2.0 account, the first thing you did is you went in there, you started clicking on things, you started building stuff, and maybe it was broken, maybe it didn't work right. You put in as many themes as you possibly could. You started changing the names of the templates and moving things around and just playing with stuff. And eventually, I'll speak for myself, I know I screwed everything up and I made an absolute mess in several workspaces. And then if you happen to have an account prior to Funnel Hacking Live of 2022, when they really did the first main release of uh, 2.0, you you may have a bunch of stuff in your account that's old, a bunch of stuff in your account that's broken, old templates, things like that. And I'm saying your account, what I mean specifically there is your workspace. So the best thing to do is to start with a brand new workspace. Now, most plans, you have at least three workspaces you can work with. My understanding, if you need an extra workspace, you can get a hold of ClickFunnels support. They can delete out your old one, get you a new one, get you all set up like that. Some plans, like the agency plan that I'm on, you can have as many as 10 workspaces. But let me show you what happens if you don't start with a brand new workspace. So we're going to come in here, and I've got uh, more than a couple in here. I have two set up here, and I got another one here. This one, in fact, I have notated is a broken workspace because that's exactly what it is. There's a bunch of stuff in there that just does not work right because, again, that was an old one from prior to Funnel Hacking Live. But then you have this account here. And I went into this uh, workspace right here, and I said, okay, well, you can add all the themes you want. So I said, okay, let's go in here and let's put in all of these themes. And wow, that looks great. I got six different themes in here. I got the dark theme in here twice. I think that's actually two different versions of it, an old one and a new one. But then uh, when you come in and you go into your pages and you go to your themes here, you're going to see that you have all of these things called example. Now I did change a couple names here like this cloned lesson template, but let's just type in the word lesson and I've done this before. So let's put in the word lesson. You got one, two, three, four, five course, example course lessons, and you're looking at them going, okay, well, which one goes with which theme? I don't know where this goes. I don't know the connection between different things. And when we go into customized stuff, which one of these theme pages works together with this, and it gets to be a jumbled up mess. So my first fix, um, fix attempt on this is I went into this workspace, and let's go again back into those pages. Let's go here. And let's go into lessons. Oops, let's go with themes first. And let's uh, search for lesson again. And so I think it was in this one here, yeah. So I went in here and add, it added a number in front, one, two, three, four, five. Well, that still didn't tell me which one of the themes it was associated with. And so what I finally realized is the best way to get really going again once you get done playing is to obviously keep a play account like this. So you can go in there and you can mess around and break things if you want. But then when you're getting serious about it or you're building something for a customer, that's when it's time to go and create yourself a new workspace. And so that's exactly what we're going to do here today. We are going to start off all of this training by starting off with a brand spanking new workspace. And how you do that is you just come in here and I'll choose this first uh, group up here at the top. I'm not really quite sure how or why it grouped it like this because I don't think I did that myself. But we're gonna come down here to team settings. And then from the team settings, you actually have to go to this here, team workspaces. And we're going to now add a new workspace. So I guess what that was, by having those two things there, there must be like two different teams is how that ended up getting set up. But I, like I said, I don't think I did that on purpose. And so we're going to call this here our success path. And um, let me see here, site subdomain, let's just make a success path. So see, P-A-T-H, so successpath.myclickfunnels.com, that's good enough for that. Later on, I can add a custom domain to it. And it says up here that if you don't have enough uh, workspaces available, you may get charged. But again, if you have to put in, if you only have one available, 
uh, contact support, and they'll they'll take care of you by deleting out one of them at uh, at the worst case. So we're going to create our workspace, and we'll let that spin for a second. And here we go. We have our workspace now, and see. Let's see what happens when we click on this. See where it goes. It takes us to a 404 error page. That's fine. We didn't need to go there anyway. But let's back back out of here. And we'll go click on this success path, and it keeps doing that. So let's just back out, and let's just pause for a second. And I think what it was is it did not have enough time to set it up yet. So let's go in here now to our success path. And let's say, let's uh, set up your success path, your workspace here. Okay, we already did that, so we'll click on next. And now here we are. We are in our success path workspace. Now, first thing we want to do is, of course, come in here and we're going to load up a bunch of information. So we're going to set our workspace image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for a second as I load up a bunch of images into this workspace because obviously I have nothing in here. And then we will continue. Okay, so I took a minute and I uploaded some images. So now let's say here we want to associate a workspace logo with this one here. We're just going to select this. And, you know, at this point here, let's just use uh, one of my ninja guys. We'll say that that's my workspace logo. And then we got our success path, the thing that we already set right there. You, of course, have to set up your payments AI, anything to do with your order forms. And you can edit your team settings down here. But this is all we need to do right now to get that going and we will update our workspace. And right now we are under the settings tab under general. And of course we can set up styles at this point and we can uh, look at our assets. Let's just click on that real quick here in our assets. We got our images, videos, downloads, audio, and our fonts. And there will be all supplemental training on most all of these things right here. Same thing with setting up your style guides. There will be supplemental training on that as well. But right now, we're going to go into our themes, and we're going to say we want to add a new theme. Now, these are all the themes that are currently available in ClickFunnels. Again, this is November 2nd of 2022, so we're only about five, six weeks after the official launch of ClickFunnels. So they don't have a whole lot of them in here yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to grab a hold of this one here known as the Hero Theme, and we are going to install this singular theme, just the one theme that's all we want to do. And it says they'll notify us when it's complete. Let's just refresh our page. And now we will pause for a minute. And I refresh the page a couple of times, and here we now have our hero theme right here. And so now the next thing we want to do is we want to go into the pages, like we saw before, how we had example, 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 example on all the stuff. Well, now we're only going to have one of each. So if I come in here and I type in the word lesson, I should only have the one lesson template. So what I want to do here, just to make things really straight, um, first off, I want to, let's see, do I have to probably reload the page here to reset it? Okay, we got all of them back here. What I want to do at this point is to rename every single one of these templates. So again, you have a theme, which is a conglomeration, a collection is a better word, of templates. So you got a theme that has the same kind of coloring and, and stuff like that. It'll have its own style sheet all that kind of stuff for a theme. And then inside of that theme, you'll have a bunch of templates for different pages. Like you got your customer center page here. You got your home page. So think of that as your site home page or your blog home page. You got your not found page. You got a member login template page. And this is actually something that is not released yet. But you know, right now you got that clunky customer center page. You got to log people in through when they go into your membership site. Coming very soon, you're actually going to have a members login page, which is going to be more like the members access page one was in uh, ClickFunnels 1.0, if you ever worked with that. So you got pages here for different courses, for different sections lesson here again a coming soon page so these are all different templates blog pages category pages all that stuff all these are different uh, templates for different pages that you're going to be able to use throughout your site and again a site is again I always like to say think in terms of WordPress because your hub or your site 
is basically your WordPress blog where you're going to have your home page, you can have other pages, you can have a blog in there, so you're going to have your blog pages in there, but then you're also going to have funnels in there, you're going to have courses in there, you're going to have your shopping carts, everything all inside of this singular site, and so you have all of these different template pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and actually rename every single one of these and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off here where it says example, and I'm going to say here hero theme because that's the name of the theme. And I'll get that right there. And what I'm going to do is copy this off of here. Let me copy that. We will update the page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause now for a second. It always flips you back to the standalone page here. But I'm going to pause now for a second and do all of these. Okay, and there you go. Every single one of these, I put the um, hero theme in front of it, took off the word example, and put hero theme in front of it. Now, if you really wanted to, you could go in, and I'm not going to do this, but you could go in and you could put in a different, um, you could put in a different theme. Again, they'll all come in here. They'll all say example at the beginning. And then if you pick the dark theme, let's say you just come in and say dark theme, and then you know which one it is here. But I will tell you this right now, after working with this and really digging in and figuring out how this works, you don't need more than one theme. And it's really kind of irrelevant which theme you do choose because you're going to change absolutely everything inside of it anyway. Now, as ClickFunnels goes on, I do believe they're going to make more custom themes for people. And so then the theme may become more important. But as of right now, you're basically going to completely gut the entire thing anyway. But now let's just really quickly here, let's just go to the customer center page and let's go here to customize. And now when we come in here and we have our home page, let's say, we'll go here. What we're going to see up at the top is it's going to say hero theme customer center. Now, and, and I guess this, oh, I see, I didn't go to the home page. It went to the customer center page because it didn't, uh, didn't pick up my click. So here we got the customer center, but it clearly is now you see that this is the home page or the customer center page. It's the hero theme. Here we come up here and we can see here then hero theme home template page. So if you had a different theme in there and you swap this out, then you could clearly see again up here at the top, okay, which theme am I in? Am I in the hero theme? Am I in the dark theme? Am I in Bob's theme of Wonder House or something? Whatever that is. So let's pop back out of there and let's look at one more thing in here is we're going to come into our these three dots right here and we can come down here and we can say our site settings. So we can go to our site settings and uh, as long as we're in here, let's put in a few things. So let's say, let's put in our favicon. And again, let's use this guy here for our favicon and our site header logo. This actually goes onto the customer center page. So let's grab a hold of this one here. And in this case, let's just use, I didn't grab a really good one. Let's just say beginner course. Let's use that as our site header logo. And I'll show you where that goes quickly here. We got our public, we have tracking code we can put in here. Now this tracking code, anything you put in here, like it says here, it could be Google Analytics, it could be your Facebook pixel, it could really be any JavaScript or even HTML code or CSS even that you could put in here. But just be aware of this. It will be, this code will be on every single page in your funnel every single page, every blog post, every blog page, every standalone page, everything, every funnel page, every course lesson page, everything. So if you want some code on every single page, you put it here. Generally speaking, I'd probably advise that you don't really want to put anything in here, even analytics, because I don't know, maybe maybe you want analytics even on a course that is protected content. I don't know. You're going to have to think about that and decide that yourself. So here we have our default style. And so when we put in this theme, it came with this style right here, Funnel Hub Framework Vanilla. Why is it called that? I don't know. I would have called it like the, the, uh, the hero theme style guide. That's what I would have called it. But this is what they called it. And you probably can go in there and change the name of that if you wanted to. And then we got our template 
page. Now again, this is going to be the template page. And now this here, this, these are all things that are overriding it. Okay. So again, in this area here, I'd probably say, generally speaking, you're not going to set any of this up because there are so many other places that you can change things and override things and use different uh, templates and different themes and stuff because it's here saying, what is your blog theme? Now, do they mean blog theme or they mean blog template there? And what I found is as of right now, again, the beginning of November in 2022, if you turn on one of these right now, you can, there's no way to turn it back off. So that's why I'm not clicking on it at all. And then we can come down here and we can set up our site's SEO. And then we go here, default settings for SEO and sharing with social networks. These will be overwritten by individual pages and blog posts. So you can set it here, but you can also set it on every single page that you create along the way and it will override it. So we will just leave here a success path site and a success path site for the description. Uh, we will leave that there and then we can also put in an image again if we so choose and we will just choose this image to go in there and then we can update this as well. So we'll update that. So that was our site settings. And then we can do our, we can edit our style guide. So let's just click on that real quick. Again, there'll be more training in the supplemental trainings on setting up your style guide. So here we have our uh, Funnel Hub Framework Vanilla. So this again is the one that came with that particular theme. Gives you these colors, etc. Again, if you need to know how to set up your style guide, there's training on that. So let's go back into where we were, was right here. And so let's come down and we got our theme settings. And in here, let me see here, we got our custom name, CF 2.0 hero theme. So let me see here, update the details or settings for the funnel hub framework actor. So I don't really see any reason to change that. I could take off the CF 2.0 if I wanted to. We got our styles again, it defaulted to the style that came with the theme. And then we could do this, and this is what I was really looking at here, is we have now our advanced settings here again for this was, we were in our, let's uh, get out of here, let's turn that back off. This is, we clicked on our theme settings here. So what this is saying is, okay, which one of these templates do we want to use for our base settings. So remember before I clicked on customer center and it showed us a bunch of stuff and I'll show you that again. That's where this is getting picked up from. So the home page is being set right here. You could change this to whatever of these you want. Now right now we only have one home page set up, but if you had more than one theme, you could pick a different home page from those uh, varying different themes that you had. You could even use any of these other pages if you wanted to, but I would again keep the naming as straight as possible because that again is where things get confusing and I'll show you in later videos what I actually do with the default pages just to keep things really straight in my head by actually putting the name of it across the top of the template. So we have all that in here for each one. And like I said, this is where you choose which every one of those types is. Because like I said, and let's bounce back out of here, what you pick there actually is when you go here to customize, what you picked there is what is going to show up here. So now here we have our hero theme, um, hero theme home template. And so then we're going to have our hero theme storefront page or something store, store template page. We get down here to our course home, got our hero theme course template page. All of those were just set in the theme settings that we were just looking at a minute ago. So those were all set there. We can customize our theme by coming in here, threw us into the editor. And we are back on our home template page. So I guess that's just sending us back in there to do some actual work on the design. And let's come back over here again. Was there anything left on this list? Explore new themes. Again, we don't want to do that. Duplicate the theme. Don't want to do that because we don't want to get a bunch of garbage in here. Because as of this point, 
most of the stuff you can't delete out. I've tried deleting out themes. They won't go away. I've tried deleting out workspaces. There's not even a delete button for those. Um, funnels, I, a lot of the stuff you can't delete as of November of 2022. So in order to keep stuff clean, do exactly what I'm showing here and just put in one theme, rename the templates, and be happy with that. So that is it for this video as far as setting up our workspace as we go forward. We're going to be looking at things like setting up your blog, your customer center, your courses, different funnels, and uh, eventually we'll be getting into products and things like that as we go along. And ClickFunnels is going to be having continuous releases, probably, who knows, over the next couple of years of new stuff as they come up with cool new things inside of 2.0. So that's it for now. If you got any questions, just let me know.